right now I'm on the pit bike. Today we're going to be talking about why you should consider a Chinese manufactured dirt bike four-wheeler ETC over a name brand like Honda, Kawasaki, Suzuki. is because they are a fraction of the price of the name brand. So like this dirt bike for instance is uh, new somewhere around I believe 12 to 13 or 12 to 15 hundred dollars. I might be wrong. Whereas brand of this size is going to run you between uh, somewhere around 25 to 3,000 out the door so by buying a Chinese brand it'll save you it could save you between a thousand and fifteen hundred bucks realistically the difference in price and stuff either way you get what you pay for so like Honda I love Honda grew up on Hondas to me you can't beat a Honda that thing was as long as there's oil in it oil in the engine that thing is going to be reliable forever even in some cases if there's no oil in the engine it'll still be reliable whereas a Chinese pit bike won't be. But with the bikes being cheap, that also means parts are cheap. So, like a whole engine for this thing, you can get for like 300 bucks, whereas the name brand won't be so cheap. I don't know the prices of the, those engines, but they're a little bit more expensive. Um, but like with Hondas, or like with this pit bike for instance, it's an Apollo dirt bike, an Apollo 110. Any part on it is relatively cheap. Now that doesn't mean you can't buy aftermarket parts for the name brand that are cheap, but the parts are bikes are cheap so like I have a blown out shop because I'm 200 pounds riding initially a kid's dirt bike and it, the weight just didn't hold up or the shock just didn't hold up to the weight so it's blown out that's why in some of my previous videos you can see me bouncing like crazy you might even be able to tell in this it squeaks but I can buy a chop, a shock, an adjustable shock for like 80 bucks. Freaking lantern flies. But it, if you're taking care of the bike, any machine you get, you might want to consider a Chinese brand pit bike unless you're, you know, already partial. But if you're just getting into uh, riding or kids getting into riding, consider a Chinese dirt bike or four-wheeler because it'll save you money. As long as you're taking care of the machine, it shouldn't give you any problems. Now, I know some of them come from the factory. You know, there's issues from the factory because you're essentially getting a key of, you know, if it was a car industry, a key of, you know, when you're comparing it to a Chevy, i.e. Honda. But, for the price, I just don't think you can beat it. Now, this I bought used, paid $800 for it. Got it for the kid, it ended up being too big. So I ride it around as a pit bike. I have a blast on it. Now that doesn't mean it doesn't have its problems. Um, one thing I've noticed is that if you run it hot, like if you run it for a long time and it gets hot, 
fuel mixture is too uh, rich. now as it ever was but it does have its problems but like I said as long as you're taking care of it and maintaining it if you do have problems like you're not I don't I wouldn't say you're any more likely to have problems on these than a Honda as long as you're taking care of it but I mean people don't like to take care of their stuff and I get it it's, like, it's not always fun to take care of your stuff and it's fun to abuse and neglect your stuff and ride it like a maniac but if you're taking care of your stuff it should last you forever it should and even if it doesn't like I said the parts for the Chinese manufactured dirt bikes and boilers are super cheap if you were to buy a harness like an engine or a whole electrical harness you can get a whole electrical harness for like 80 bucks that's a no-brainer that's uh just way too way too uh it, it would be dumb to avoid something like that if you're not sure what you want or if you're trying to not break the bank when you buy something but like i said i love honda i grew up on honda everybody loves honda everybody knows honda's the best but if you neglect that the parts are going to be more expensive now that doesn't mean you can't find the parts because parts are really easy to come by because it's honda and they're one of the largest off-road manufacturers in the world if not the largest i'm not sure i haven't looked up the stats of that but the parts are going to be more expensive now like I said, there are still aftermarket options you can go with. That also takes away from the uh, reliability. But then again, if you're buying a Chinese pit bike, or if your, op your other option is to buy a Chinese pit bike, that also kind of takes away from the reliability because it definitely isn't a Honda. But it's still, I keep going back to it. And as long as you're taking care of it, you shouldn't give you any problems. Uh, so that's, those are really the main reasons Chinese manufactured dirt bike or foiler over name brand because one they're cheaper two you can buy parts for them for also cheap three uh, all this stuff being cheap kind of wraps into you not wanting to break the bank um, with buying uh, your first or your child's first or you know buying a used pit bike. I was always a Honda fanboy, never wanted anything Chinese. Chinese market started blowing up. I was like, nah, I can't convince myself to do that. But then once I did, it was like, man, that bike. You can still buy stuff for a fraction used of the price of name brand. So that's, that's one of the main things, main reasons you should consider doing something like that buying Chinese compared to a uh, name brand I think that'll take care of this video if you haven't already subscribe to the channel take care